Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2022 Spanish mystery movie called The Chalk Line. Sometime at night, Paula and her husband, Simon, are driving home when Simon suddenly spots something in the middle of the road and alerts his wife to be careful. Paula stops the car and the couple get out of the car, finding a wandering girl who is following the road marking. As they approach her, the girl gets scared, then runs into a speeding bike. The motorbike attempts to dodge the girl and crashes off the road. They immediately rescue the girl while surprisingly ignoring the dying rider. They bring them into a hospital where the doctor explains that she's in a very sick condition. Not long after, the detectives arrive, questioning the couple about the girl's background, but they don't know anything about her. In the morning, the couple finally make it home. Paula immediately rushes into the bathroom where she secretly injects some medication to her belly, then resets the alarm for the subsequent dose. It seems like she deliberately tries to hide it from his husband. Still that day, Paula and Simon return to the hospital. Dr. Gloria tells them that the girl's muted and her kidney function is low, but she assumes that her name is Clara after she reacts strongly when a nurse with the same name is being called. As they reach Clara's room, they hear the girl screaming in pain, but the nurses can't understand her. Paula immediately intervenes and hugs Clara to calm her down inside a chalk box, which is successful. That evening, the couple join a dinner hosted by their neighbors, Claudia and Beltran, where Paula and Simon share about Clara's condition. Maite and her husband Eduardo also present there. The following day, the couple visit Clara in the hospital, figuring out that she's tied up and has been heavily sedated. As her health's condition is worsening, the doctor asks them to leave. The couple is worried about her and since they still can't find any information about her parents, they plan to temporarily adopt her. Dr. Gloria also thinks that's the best way to establish a connection with Clara to help her recover, so she agrees with it. That night, they finally bring Clara home. Learning from the incident at the hospital, Paula realizes that she must be surrounded by chalk lines, so she draws a rectangle around her bed to make her feel safe. The following day, Clara wakes up, trying to adapt with her new room. Paula even prepares a breakfast for her and attempts to form a deeper bond with the girl. Soon, Paula does an experiment using a plant pot to learn more about Clara's uniqueness. She discovers that the girl will be okay as long as she does not pass the chalk boundaries. The couple decide to draw a path along the house so that she can move freely. The next day, Dr. Gloria comes to the house to check on Clara's condition. She forces the girl to step over the chalk line and tells the couple to wait in the kitchen. As soon as Gloria erases the line, Clara begins to scream in pain and speaks for the first time. She repeatedly shouts the word Buma until Paula can't take it anymore and decides to intervene to calm her down. Afterwards, they continue the session where Gloria asks her about the word she spoke before, but she refuses to talk. Instead, Clara whispers some phrases to Paula, to which the women can't understand. As time goes on, Clara begins to feel safe around Paula. After that, Paula and the others gather again for another neighborhood meeting. When they're eating together, Eduardo volunteers to get a glass for Paula in the kitchen. Next day, Claudia brings her daughter to play with Clara, but it does not go well. When Claudia eats toast bread with jam, she suddenly chokes on something. She pulls out a glass shard from her throat, which they assume comes from the jam. Simon discovers that the line's very close to the fridge, implicitly assuming that the girl is the culprit, but Paula immediately disagrees. The neighbors are seen outside the house discussing the accident, which makes Paula worried. Shortly after, Simon comes to his wife, telling her that one of the words the girl said earlier was written in a chalk box. The couple, with the assistance of Gloria, continue translating the words until they find out that they are German. There's still one unrevealed word, but the doctor immediately calls the police, hoping that they can find her parents. Paula asks Clara whether she's a German, but she ignores her and continues solving puzzles. As she tries to dig deeper about her background, she suddenly gets distracted by a loud sound of her washing machine. She checks the machine, finding that it's overflowing because of a set of keys inside a pants. Paula returns to the room, but the girl suddenly goes missing. She searches all over the house, discovering that the main door is left open. Paula attempts to search outside the house, but to no avail. However, when she returns in panic, she finds out that the girl's with Simon. Paula thinks that she hid from her, but Clara says nothing. She asks her what Buma is, the last word they still can't figure out the meaning of. Paula threatens to erase the line if she doesn't give a response, but she rebels. At the same time, she realizes that Eduardo is observing from his place. A few moments later, 
Dr. Gloria comes by to question the couple about the glass incident. Afterwards, Clara comes in and shows Paula a drawing of seemingly like a house. Frustrated that she's unable to interpret the drawing, Clara rips the paper out and walks away. Gloria concludes that Clara's not progressing at all and decides to take her back from the couple. Paula still doesn't give up and keeps trying to translate the Buma word. Unfortunately, as she eventually figures out the meaning, she suddenly chokes on a piece of broken glass after she drinks the milk from the fridge. She barely manages to pull out the broken glass. When she comes out of the bathroom, Clara disappears again with the main door left wide open. This time, Paula calls the police. The detectives believe that Clara ran away on her own, but she strongly disagrees with it. The next day, the neighbors gather at the couple's house. When Claudia mentions that she'll give birth earlier than expected, Paula suddenly gets triggered and expels everyone from the house. Shortly after, Simon finally speaks up about his wife secretly injecting medication. Turns out that all this time Paula's having trouble conceiving and they decided to take a break from all the treatments, but she broke the agreement. The husband confesses that he purposely brought Paula home to fix their relationship, but it seems that the presence of the girl only makes it worse. When Simon's away, Paula gets a call from Clara, immediately reporting it to the police. At the police station, the detectives trace the call and reveal that the call was made from Paula's phone. Thus they think that Paula's having some mental problem. Upon completing the medical examination, she's allowed to go home. As Paula leaves, she steals a file consisting of crime against children cases in Germany. While reviewing the documents carefully, she comes across a case of a 12 years old girl named Ingrid and accidentally finds a photo with the same origami that Clara made earlier in their house. Paula approaches the responsible forensic pathologist to gather more information. After begging several times, the doctor reveals that the victim's kidneys were no longer functioning. Paula continues surfing on the internet, finding origami with a similar shape that Clara made on the victim's house. Arriving at home, she rushes over to Clara's room and finds the same origami on the window. She examines Clara's previous drawing and eventually discovers that it depicts Eduardo's house from the window. Again, she sees Eduardo observing her from his house. The mystery is finally solved. Paula immediately reports to the police that Eduardo might be the prime suspect in Clara's disappearing case. After hanging up the phone, she proceeds to go to Eduardo's house. Moving to Eduardo's perspective, it's revealed that he's the one who put Clara on the road because she's sick. He also instructed her not to talk before leaving her alone. That night during the neighborhood dinner, he deliberately broke glass and inserted the shards into the jar and milk bottle. After that, he sneaked into Simon's house in an attempt to kidnap Clara, throwing the keys into the washing machine. Before he managed to escape, Simon returned home, so he left her and ran away. The man is actually a psychopath, even his own wife is afraid of him. It's also him who ordered Maite to trigger Paula by mentioning her pregnancy. He used this opportunity to grab Paula's phone and make the call, then returning it without getting caught. Back to the present, Paula arrives at the psychopath's house using the excuse of wanting to borrow a map. Eduardo becomes suspicious of her, but still complies with the request. When the woman is about to leave, the door is locked and Eduardo attacks Paula with a hammer. He then drags the woman into a basement where Clara is staying all this time. He locks her up in another room and restrains him to a pole. Moments later, the police knock on the door, but the mess has been entirely clean. Coming back to the basement, Eduardo interrogates Paula, who confesses that he's found Ingrid from the document she stole earlier. While the psychopath is away, Paula manages to open the door and pass the chalk to Clara, asking her to be brave and make her own way out. Meanwhile, after searching in Paula's house, Eduardo finally finds the evidence. He returns to the basement, but cannot find the girl there. The enraged psychopath rummages all over the place. Fortunately, Clara manages to reach the door and lock the adults inside the basement. She keeps drawing a path for escape until she's stuck at the main door of the house. Left with no option, Clara forces herself to walk past the chalk line for the first time in her life. She manages to walk a few steps and screams for help, but Simon's talking on the phone, not paying attention at the window. Bad luck for her, Maite finds the girl and takes her back to the house. In the morning, Maite suddenly is not afraid of his husband anymore, stating that she'll finally have the freedom she deserved in her life, but Eduardo ignores her. Soon, as the husband's enjoying his breakfast, Maite opens the main door and several officers break into the house, arresting Eduardo and freeing the women. Sometimes later, Paula calls Clara, who's sent back to Germany where she lives with her grandparents, who's actually Ingrid's parents. 
It's also revealed that Paula is finally pregnant. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.